talk about today's trades. Today is Thursday, February 23rd of 2023. I first want to take a peek at the overall market. So here you see SPY, the S&P 500. And a couple things I'm looking for here. I'm trying to see if this market has turned. And a lot of times you won't know if the market's turned until after the fact, but we do our best to try to predict it and see if we can profit from it. So here you see on the weekly chart, we see that we, we were in a really nice strong downtrend since January of 2022. It's been making lower lows, lower lows and lower highs. But that got that downtrend broke earlier this year in the week of January 27th. So now it's broke out of that downward sloping trading channel. And the question is, will it hold? Um, on the S&P 500, we see that it has now on the weekly chart, it's made a higher low. It's also made a higher high. It's broken out above both these moving averages, although now it's come back down and pierced through those moving averages. But this upward sloping trend line appears to be holding for now. There was pretty strong volume the past week. So the question is, will this upward sloping trend line continue to hold on this daily chart? And on the weekly chart, we kind of see the same thing. It's now come back down as testing the upper part of this downward sloping trading channel, which is pretty typical. Normally we'll break through it and then come back down and retest that for support. So we're at a precarious spot here. The market has to decide which way it's going to go. And so it'll be interesting to see how the next month or two plays out. Now, triple Q is not quite as clear. If we look at the weekly chart, it, it's pretty clear it wasn't a downtrend. We all know that from 2022 and it has broke out and made a higher high. It hasn't really made a higher low though yet. So we'll have to see where this ends up. It could come all the way down here to the 200 moving average, or it could find support right here. This is the area that served as resistance for it back in December. So this could be the support. Uh, this one does look more bullish on the weekly chart. There's been nice green buying over the past couple of months. So the QQQ is a little more uncertain, but of the two, it looks like it has the potential to really break out if it can hold this moving average. But both of them are looking bullish, but not so much so that I feel like we've turned the corner. We're now in a bull market. So let's now look at our two trades for today. So the first one was the cash secure put option. We sold an EQR. So we'll pull that chart up here. And last night we had a, a weird, a weird trade. How the, there was a big down, a big down candle, but we see it cleared up overnight. Even though it looks like it may be trying to do it again. We see it right here. So something weird is going on after hours with EQR. But nonetheless, we added this position because it continues to find support right around this green 50 moving average, which coincides with this area of consolidation. It consolidated from, from October of last year all the way through December. So for about two months, this is the area it hung out in. If it hangs out here for a while, we're happy with it. If it finds support, we're happy. If it does find support, then it'll probably be sandwiched in between the the red 200 and green 50 moving average on this daily chart until it breaks out. I do like that the volume appears to be declining as the stock's been declining, which means the sellers are getting less and less excited or less and less motivated to sell the stock. Looking at the weekly chart, it looks pretty bullish. The past two months, EQR has looked nice and strong. A nice doji here to, for a reverse, which is pretty typical. Typically, markets or stocks reverse on dojis. That's one of the telltale signs it's a reversal. And so now it you know, quite possibly could go up as high as 68 or so, but we'll have to see if it holds a support here. If it does, we'll continue to add to it if the return stays sufficient. The next one was T row. We added to our T row position. We sold the 105 March put. Let's just pull that chart up. So this, this chart's got a lot going on. What I mean by that is a lot of lines. The 105 is some cash care put options we sold. The 110 is also some cash care put options we sold. So what we're looking at mainly is this line here. And I'll try and darken it up a little bit for you here. So this is the trend line. It is an upward sloping trend line, but it's actually in a wedge. As you see, this, this upper trend line is slightly sloped down. So the question is, will it hold? Well, today it actually kind of broke through this upward sloping trend line. Let me make this less thick so we can see a little better. So will it hold? Will this area hold? If it doesn't, I do expect this area here around 107 to be its next major area of support. In the volume section, we see the selling was increasing, but then yesterday it began to decrease. Today it leveled off and actually was a green up day. So that looks very, fairly positive. Um, not the strongest bullish looking chart at the moment, but it looks like, it, like it's doing what we thought it would do is possibly find support here. 
looking at the weekly chart, we see that it's now hitting up against several moving averages, and that's the problem. The green 50 moving average and above that, the 200 on the weekly chart. But the, cat, the volume looks fairly bullish over the past couple months. The buyers have been showing some strength, but it's going to take a lot of steam to push through both these moving averages. So I expect T. Rowe to kind of consolidate in here, but quite possibly it may even decline. And if it does, then we'll have to adjust this position, which we're totally fine with. All right, well, that's our trades for today, and we'll take a look tomorrow to see if there's any additional opportunities. I know we have some money available in both accounts, but especially in our small account, about half our account is in cash and it's available to trade with. Just looking for an opportunity to do a trade in a lower price stock to, so we can keep that account as diversified as possible. So I hope you have a great evening.